welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my updated no heat curls. I did a video like this with a very similar method a couple years ago, but I did it on damp hair, and one of the problems that I found with doing it on damp hair is sometimes it's not dry enough in the morning and then you've done all the work for nothing. So this is all of my best tips and tricks, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am working with OGX on this, and I am an OG expert this year, which is really exciting. So the shampoo and conditioner that I've been loving and wanted to show you guys is the Candy Johnson Pop Glam Hugs and Kisses shampoo and conditioner. These smell amazing. It's um, sweet like cotton candy, a little bit floral and tropical. It's very moisturizing. I think you guys are gonna love this if you're looking for a new shampoo and conditioner. So there is a link down below if you wanna check it out. And the rest of the line is mermaid theme, which is everything. You guys know how much I love mermaids and I decided to go with a very mermaidy look. So I'll be using the Mermaid Moisture Hair Mask as well as the Mermaid Dust Dry Shampoo in the styling portion of this video and they really make a difference. So I hope you guys like how I did this look. This little updo is also included to match the Mermaid vibe and let's get into it. As I mentioned before, this version of No Heat Curls you can do on dry hair and still get a gorgeous effect. My hair is 95% air dried after using the OGX Candy Pop Glam Ultra Hydrating Hugs and Kisses Shampoo and Conditioner. It's sulfate free, gentle on colored hair, and mine is my natural color at the moment, but if you do have colored hair, this will help your shade be even more vibrant and last longer. You can run wet fingers through dry hair or mist some water or just go completely dry. And here's where you want to bring in a bit of a leave-in mask. This is the OGX Candy Pop Glam Mermaid Moisture Ultra Hydrating Hair Mask. Again, smells like sweet floral, has a whip texture, and I love leaving this on wet hair in the shower for a couple of minutes to really nourish the hair before rinsing. It also has like uh, purple sparkles. <laughs> or in this case, for no heat curls, I'm running a bit of this whipped formula through dry hair to help grip onto the fabric better and leave some texture, which helps the curl pattern. Finally, if your hair is in need of a haircut, I'm sure a lot of ours needs one in quarantine, you can add some coconut miracle oil to the ends of the hair to make sure they don't have a fried look without any heat to tame that frizz. And let's begin the curls. If you have a robe, it's perfect to take the tie that you would use around the waist and just plop this on your hair. If you have a satin one, it's even softer on your hair and you want to clip this in the center. Then pick up a section of hair in front of the fabric and twist around it. Now pick up another section of hair and add to the twist. Repeat this going down the fabric fairly tightly, and once you've added in all the hair, continue to wind the hair around the fabric. My hair gets a lot thinner at the ends, so to avoid it coiling up too much and really shortening the hair a lot, create a more consistent curl pattern by layering the twist over the hair you've already twisted down. With a small plastic elastic, tie making sure you get the ends in along with that fabric. This makes taking out the elastic super easy, you'll just pull on the robe. Now just tie this behind the head so it's easy to sleep with. It also looks really cute, like if you wanted to do this in the morning and take it out in the afternoon, you could go about your day. It just looks like a twisted halo with a ribbon. And here we are the next morning, mermaid makeup and outfit for the reveal. Pull down on the flaps and the elastic should pop off. Run your hands down the fabric, unraveling the curl, and then just unwind. Now we have tighter grouped together curls and I always find that with my hair in a twist, the top is flat so I like to give it a fresh look and more volume at the roots. The OGX Candy Pop Glam Mermaid Dust Dry Shampoo. I'm super picky about dry shampoos and this is one of my favorites that I've tried. Again, it smells amazing and I'm really going to start to brush out the ends for lots of length. And I always style my curls with the OGX Botifying and Bamboo Fiber Full Big Hairspray. Totally optional, but that's how I would style my curls with heat and without heat. It just gives a little bit more longevity to the style. 
This is such an amazing alternative to heat. Like this is my favorite curls with a curling iron versus these and they're pretty similar. Finally, I decided to create a pretty mermaid half updo. I took a side portion of hair right beside my part and I'm creating a fishtail braid. If you don't know how to fishtail, I'll have a slower tutorial linked, but all you gotta do is divide your hair into two sections and then taking a small piece from the outermost side of one section, cross over to join the other side. You keep adding in small section by small section until you have a unique braid and then I'm just fanning this out. Create a fishtail headband by pinning down. And with the ends, I twisted back and added one more bobby pin. I also thought pearls were a really nice mermaid touch. And voila, there is the no heat curls with a mermaid princessy style that I hope you guys will try out. watching i hope you guys enjoyed my updated no heat curls and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos i'm so excited for summer i can't wait and these products are definitely getting me in the mood for it and while we're all stuck at home it's great to master your no heat curls because by the time summer comes around hopefully we'll all have our summer hair down if you do want to shop at these products that i featured there is a link down below as i mentioned and i would love to see how your no heat curls turn out so if you try them be sure to tag me as well as in any other photos that you've recreated from my looks. I love to feature you guys in my videos. And anyways, I will see you guys in my next one.